Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is how I take care of myself. This seemed quite fitting since I've felt strangely insecure and a sense of low self-esteem lately. So this video is my realistic guide on how I reclaim my energy and practice taking care of me. So I went for a little walk and as you've heard it a bazillion gazillion times, um, the first thing I like to do is journal. So I brought my book, my AirPods, and I just spent literally two and a half hours just journaling and reading and it was super peaceful. I also did um, a little meditation, which literally brought me back to earth. It was the weirdest thing, strangest experience, but really good deep breathing and meditation. Then I went to Pilates with my mum and she loved it, but here's what she had to say about it. I'm vlogging, how did you find it, mum? I thought it was tough, but it was very good. I loved it. Would you be coming back? Yes, definitely. Permanently? Um, I want to see how I feel tomorrow. It actually isn't that bad. I I know when I did Pilates on my own, you know, when I used to say yeah. to you girls. But see, I, I feel like it's different to that though. It is, but you know how you just, oh my God, I can't do another skate up or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then you're not that sore the next day sort of thing. So yeah. it's... At the time, the pain is like, oh, I can't. Burning. But I like that one though. I've had her before, I forgot. Not feeling that sore, but your arms are wobbling. Yeah. When I was doing the plank, I was like, I can actually do the plank, but my arms are spent. That night, my beautiful friends came over for some takeaway pizza and some red wine, which was really good. And we played my new conversation card game called Reflex, which some of you may already know, but that sparked some really good conversations. And I just love talking and listening to my friends because it just really grounds me and makes me appreciate how lucky I am to have these friends, um, which is honestly a way of taking care of myself. So that was a really good night. I also took myself to a cafe and edited my youtube video and just journaled and read it once again and i feel like taking myself on a coffee date really allows me to get comfortable in my own company and it felt really good another thing i did for myself this week was saying yes it seems really simple but i said yes to a very last minute opportunity which i was kind of iffy about considering i've been trying to save but like literally yolo I went to Benny's concert with my friends and cousins and it was just such a fun, spontaneous night. And I love proving to myself that saying yes and doing things like going to a concert is something I know I will enjoy and it's so worth doing and spending that money on that type of stuff. I also just grabbed breakfast with Ollie and had a very slow morning, which was much needed. And it's also something I love doing when I'm trying to take care of myself, is just taking it slow. because this video is literally on how I take care of myself and kind of how I've dealt with feeling the way I've been feeling. I thought now was a good opportunity to kind of come on here and explain what I'm feeling right now, just to be really open <laughs> with you guys. Weirdly right now, I feel like I'm already judging myself. Do I want to post this on wall? Oh, I've just been in a bit of a funk and it's really, really strange. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to work out if my period's coming, I don't know. I just feel like weirdly sad for no reason. And I'm just trying to sit with the uncomfortable feeling and not try to resist it or make it go away. But there's just like something like hurting me for some reason and I don't know what it is. Yeah, even though like I feel like this, I just want to be real because even though I've done all this stuff and I've gone to a concert, I've gone for walks, I've journaled, I still feel like shit and that's also super fucking normal i don't want people to think that i'm some guru on how to look after yourself but i just want to show the side of myself that i'm also still struggling even though i try to take care of myself it's not like it fixes it, it just kind of helps me manage and make things better that's all i have to say hi guys um i didn't really want this video to be me talking much but I just wanted to say, um, I wanted to explain a few other things just because I didn't really record and make it montage -y. I wanted to kind of come on here and explain, but pretty much I just wanted to say that the last week was really strange, such a weird week for me mentally, um, but something I also did was I'm like literally redoing my whole identity, like as in what I'm wearing, what I look like, because 
I've said this about like 50 times. I forget you guys on all of my private story. Anyway, I feel like I'm in my flop era and I need to like, no, I need to be more hot. So I went thrifting and I still need to do a lot more shopping, but I'm literally restarting my whole closet. I'm gonna put a whole heap of stuff in Vinnie's. I'm just like, ew, I hate what I'm wearing all the time. That's one thing I've done for myself also, which made me feel like kind of better. I felt good after that. And drinking lots of water to keep my skin nice because my skin is not great at the moment and it's because I've been drinking only one of these a day and I usually have like three. So yeah, and then getting my nails done also made me feel like, oh. Anyway, this was such a random video, but I hope you took something away from this. But yeah, it just shows reality. Even though I did all these things for myself, I still had a very, very weird week mentally and just because you're doing those things for yourself you can't expect to feel immediately better i'm feeling way better now i'm giving myself some time to just be patient with myself because i'm i'm being very demanding of myself for no reason anyway i'm gonna go cook some dinner i'm gonna chill out thank you for watching this video um but yeah for all anyone else who's having a weird week who anyone else is in a funk you're gonna get through this like i did you're gonna make it out the other end. Let people in, talk to people, write your emotions out, journal, do whatever you can. It will pass. Anyway, thank you for watching.